Hey guys, welcome to my channel and Eve NG Complete Course. In this training video, I want to show you the installation of the Eve NG Community Edition. First, we'll go to eveng.net. You can go directly or search in uh, Google Eve NG. So we'll go to the download menu. So first off, we need to download uh, several files. We have three versions, the professional version, the community version, and the version for learning centers. Now, uh, I'm going to choose the free community version. We have two types of installation, either through import OVA file or installation through ISO file. In this tutorial, We'll see the OVA file installation. We'll click on the file and it can be downloaded from two sites, from the Mega Mirror or the Google Mirror site. So we'll go to the Mega site. The file size is one gigabyte. So we'll click on to save. So the file start downloading. The second we need to download Windows Client Pack. That is the tool that we have to install on our computer, including Wireshark, Putty, and so on when you install this Client Pack. So I will click on and download this as well. We also need a document file that we can download from the document section. This is a software help file uh, installation PDF that helps us review and how to install Eve NG. Finally, we have three files, the software installation file, the documentation file, and the Windows client pack file. So having said that, Windows Client Pack, we need it to connect to the EVE software from our computer if you have a Windows client. So we downloaded the Windows version because I'm using Windows in my local PC. If you are using another operating system, you should choose from here. For example, the Apple OS or Linux. So we're going to use these three files. Now, before we get into the import of EVENG to our workstation, let's take a look at the software guide and its hardware requirement. From the system requirements section, here we can see the resources required. So note that we have a minimum part that we can run this software. Here you can see the CPU, Now here is our Eve NG full pack images. Here you can click on download and here you can click on shop now. This is the great Eve NG which is included more than 30 popular and great images that you can practice CCNA, CCNP and CCIE. So here when you pay you will access to the 17 gigabyte of Eve community VMDK file and you can import it like the instruction here and you can start practicing without wasting your time configuring your Eve NG and pay hundreds of dollars for CCNA and CCMP and thousand dollars for CCIE to access all the images that you want. And here is the full video about two minutes. You can learn how to import this VMDK file to your uh, VMware workstation or player or your ESXi and start practicing your CCNA and CCMP and CCIE. And up here, you can see the list of images that included to this VMDK EVENG file. Here you can click on this image to see it in the full screen, or of course, you can download it from here. Here, as you can see, 
We have ASA with its uh, version, CSR100 as you can see, with its uh, username and password and the structure here. And next is 9K, which is a great appliance to practice a data center certification. And this is ACS, ISE, IPS, as you can see, and VWLC, as you can see here, UCS, and 3PAL, HP, Huawei, USG, and Firepower, Juniper, FortiGate, F5, and the rest of them. As you can see, even you have OpenE software defined storage, you can make the complex lab with these images and you will have the Windows appliance and Linux and ESXi and the rest of them as you can see. That means when you buy this product, you will have all the images inside this EVNG full pack image and you don't need to pay hundred or thousand dollars for these images. And one of the frequently asked questions from me, is it possible to download all the images from this EVNG full pack to your computer? Yes, it's possible. You should go to the exact directory on your EVNG and you will see all the images, chemo files and IOSs in this EVNG full pack image. And here you can simply click on add to basket and you can click on view and purge this software which is great for you and you don't need to waste your time as you know configuring EVNG is very hard and on the other hand you should pay hundred or thousand dollars to pay for the images but you only pay this price and you will have immediate access to this EVNG full pack image without any expiration as it is community version and you can upgrade it to the pro version with all the images that that you have inside this full pack which is great pack you can now download and start practicing ccna ccmp and ccie and you don't need waste your time to learn eve ng how to import images how to configure them and you don't need to take a time again to configure eve ng and the four gigs of memory which should be the virtualization enabled on your bios pc here is the amount of memory you want. You need at least eight gigs of memory and 40 gigs of hard disk drive space. And if you want to make a virtual machine for it, we have to consider six gigs of memory and 40 gigs for a hard drive. Now we can see the recommended system below. At least one Core i7 and also eight logical processor with the virtualization again must be enabled. So the recommended system is 32 gigs of memory is required and 200 gigs of hard disk space is again recommended. So to see what resources you need for the number of nodes you would use in your scenarios, there is a link here that you can see. If you want to run Cisco ASA V firewall, you need one virtual CPU and two gigs of memory. And you also, you need a virtualization platform such as VMware Workstation, VMware Player, or an ESXi install on the server to run this OVA installation file. And we can also use Ubuntu 16 to install bare metal, which is the operating system installed on our computer will host our EVNG software. And we can also use Google Cloud to run EVNG. And from here, you can see the items that are not supported by Eve software. So here, we're going to use EVNG on the VMware workstation. And to do this, we'll select the open menu and select the OVA file. And we'll click on open. Here we can change the name of the virtual machine and of course you can specify the import path and start to import that VM.
if we need to make changes in the hardware on this virtual machine we can do it from here you can change the amount of memory the number of processor as well as the capacity of disk drive and network setting are available here and you can change it if you need to and we'll assign the network adapter in bridge mode and now is the time to power on this vm so this is the first time and we should log into this vm and use the default password which is the root user and the password is eve -E or eve so the first time you run this software you need to complete the installation wizard enter the new password you can change the host name we also need to complete the domain here we set the ip settings to dhcp and if you have an ntp server you can enter your ntp server address from here and we'll press enter and here ask you about internet connection so we use the direct option and enter to connect to the internet and the virtual machine will restart so here as you can see our ip address has changed to 10.1.113 this is the ip of eve ng virtual machine that receives from my modem and it is assigned to this vm by a dhcp so we should use this ip in our browser we'll enter the user and password and login the first time we we'll log in, we'll see this menu. So first, let's update Eve software. We go to the console and we'll check the internet connection. So we have access to internet now. Great. And at the first time we need to update we use the apt update command it's recommended to update the eve ng vm then start working with this simulator and in this step we must upgrade with the apt upgrade command to install the linux packages this command download and installs new packages and perform upgrade operation and I strongly recommend you upgrade before starting to work with this uh, Eve NG software. Well, the last thing we should do is to install the client site so the windows client side will help you access eveng through the web interface perfectly and without any interruption or problem so once windows client side software is installed we can see wireshark ssh and other are going to install to help us communicating from our local pc to eveng software perfectly and we just need to install this software and it's very easy to install just next 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 and finish well as you can see the windows client pack software it's also installed so this is how to install the eve ng ova version so i hope you enjoy watching this video please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and leave a comment if you have any question